continuing our training camp preview of Millersville football, going position by position. And today we talked to wide receivers coach and offensive coordinator Mike Wood. Mike, you enter your first season as the offensive coordinator, second season coaching uh, wide receivers at Millersville. What type of things uh, can we expect and change in the offense uh, as you take over the lead as the offensive coordinator? Sure. Yeah, there's uh, there's not going to be a, a huge difference from what guys saw from last year. Obviously, the players are going to change and. You always have to adjust things to make sure that you're fitting your personnel groups the right way and uh, doing what they do best. So it's not necessarily um, the scheme that you want to put in place as far as finding really what they do well and, and putting those kids in the right situation to make plays. Well, let's take a look at your position group, wide receivers. Not a lot of familiar faces coming back. Really only Kevin Wiggins is a returner. Kevin had a great season last year as a freshman. First freshman in Millersville history to lead the team in receptions. What have you seen in his development in the offseason and how he's come into camp? Kevin has really developed um, physically, mentally. I mean, he's he took huge steps, strides forwards during the spring. Uh, he mentioned a bunch of new guys in there. He's taken all those guys under his wing, kind of helped them through that learning uh, curve and process that he had to go through last year. And um, has, has just done an excellent job. Comes out and works hard every day. Um, never makes the same mistake twice, Is uh, cleans things up, asks the right questions, recognizes coverages, all, all the things you want from a wide receiver. And uh, just, just a hard-nosed kid and works hard in the weight room and um, does everything we ask him to do. So he's he's been great. Well, I think um, in terms of the, re the guys coming in, the new guys coming in, you have a few freshmen, you have a couple transfers as well. Can you speak on a couple of those transfer guys, guys that may have already had some experience elsewhere and, and what they might bring to this team? Sure, sure. One of our transfers, um, Zaraway, uh, Morris Zaraway, has uh, had an opportunity to, to be a, a guy who's uh, done some things we've done before uh, with perimeter guys with, with speed. And um, he's stepped into that role. He's picking up the offensive, I think, it, it can never be uh, understated having a transfer guy come in and have to learn that terminology. It's learned, learned a whole different language. So um, having him go through and, and learn that, and Kevin's been a huge help for him. And then with those young guys, all those guys coming in are, are speed guys and track guys, um, guys that ran uh, the 100-meter, 200-meter triple jump, uh, all, all in uh, PA, Maryland, Virginia. And um, so obviously from that standpoint, that, that's why those guys showed up on tape in high school. And then it's just getting those skills to, to show up, having a comfort level of lining up, understanding coverages. And um, again, like I said, Kevin's been, been really, really big for those guys, um, explaining that and, and help them with a learning curve from that standpoint, teaching it. Well, you had Kevin Wiggins make an impact last year as a freshman. Is it safe to say we'll see some more freshmen this year making an impact as well? There, there will definitely be some guys who, uh, who who pull away from the pack a little bit. Uh, Kevin's going to be the, the lead there starting off, and uh, he's going to be our go-to guy. And then from there, a couple of those guys are, are starting to kind of pull themselves away from the pack a little bit. And uh, that will all sort itself out in the next couple of days here before we uh, – we get into uh, our first game on Thursday. All right. Well, the game's right around the corner Thursday, just a week away from today. So uh, thanks, Mike, for your time. Yeah.